Good morning traders and welcome to Daily Call today Thursday the 11th of January. Before we get started as always please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay let's have a look at what's happened yesterday. Um, from the US we had uh, the crude oil inventories coming at negative 4.9 million barrels and whilst it did affect the Canadian dollar or more so the Canadian dollar did fall yesterday against the US on news from uh, that Mr Trump may pull out of the NAFTA agreements I think uh, US CAD dropped about 100 pips uh, at that announcement um, the US dollar yesterday was more so dominated by headlines that China is looking at slowing down or completely halting their purchases of US Treasury notes as we know China is the largest holder of US Treasuries and should they halt purchase uh, purchasing should I say uh, it will have big consequences on the bond markets the US dollar and also uh, the equity markets so that was the big news um, and we did see the US yen drop significantly at uh, that news there now whilst it's not confirmed by the China government they also did not come out and say that it was incorrect which is seen as somewhat of an endorsement um, and that's all in relation to the battle between the US and China over new taxes over steel imports and uh, some commodities so it's a bit of a, a tug of war and they're using tactics uh, to get their own way but nevertheless that's what happened yesterday from the UK we had uh, manufacturing production numbers uh, come in at 0.4 percent and though the the numbers were better and these are the first set of numbers that include uh, the VAT tax uh, for the year um, GBP was slightly down yesterday all right let's have a look at our chart of the day and this morning I was really really struggling to find anything uh, which is familiar to you so perhaps for some of you who are a little bit more advanced or have been to my advanced classes what I found this morning is uh, a bullish butterfly um, I was really really looking for a trade it is the euro New Zealand dollar on a four-hour time frame it's a really nice bullish butterfly the way that you trade these is we it's a, a combination of Fibonacci ratios that makes this pattern and essentially as I'm indicating with the arrow uh, basically we are looking to move back up um, if you don't know how to trade it just get in contact with us and um, for it, maybe a little bit too advanced for some of you but uh, feel free to get in contact with us and I can see if I can assist you in somewhat but there you go that's our chart of the day euro kiwi dollar on a four hour time frame and a bullish butterfly okay let's have a look at what's happening in the session which is just about to kick off we have this morning at 11:30 locally in Australia we have our retail sales numbers are due and then the other significant news for the session is just after midnight at 12:30 from the US we have PPI numbers as always guys please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions follow me on Twitter at chatfx for trade setups and breaking news most importantly hope you'll have a fantastic trading day I'll talk to you tomorrow on the daily call bye for now